Hi everyone, I'm about to head to Rite Aid, but I want to show you this before I go. So I was cleaning out my coupons and just doing some weeding out of expireds and doing inventory and seeing what I had. And I found these. I forgot all about these. So at Rite Aid this week, I believe they're $4.79 gold price and there's a $2 in ad coupon. So that makes them $2.79. And then I have this th two of these $3 manufacturer coupons. So Oh, I hope they have some in stock. We're going to go, and I'm saying we because you're going with me. Not really, but you know, it's just kind of like you are. We're going to go to the Rite Aid with the coupon machine and see what new coupons they have. And hopefully they'll have these in stock, so I'll get two of these and make a little bit of money off of these. So, super excited. I found these. I had forgotten completely all about these. So, check your coupons, guys. You might have them too. And so, real quickly, I just want to show you my coupon box. Now, it ain't pretty. It ain't fancy. It don't have any washi tape. It's not cute. It's not creative. It's completely and totally just functional for me. It works for me. This was a dollar, I think, at Walmart or something. It's a clear plastic shoe box. It's beat up. It, the top is cracked and broken, but it works for me. And... So I have them separated by categories. Now I have a bunch of miscellaneous junk up here. And this is a bunch of mis. These are coupons that need to be filed and haven't been. So I made these dividers from old JCPenney gift boxes. And so they're pretty sh uh, torn and tattered, but that's okay. So I have them separated by cleaners, which includes candles, oral care, makeup, which includes skin care, medicines, which includes you know, vitamins, eye care, all that. I have razors, which includes deodorant. Now this is just in my mind categories. These are just the way that I've always done it and it just works for me. Hair care, pet products, even though I don't have any pets, but I still collect pet product coupons because, you know, sometimes they pay you to take it off their hands. Why not? I have canned foods. I have cereal slash breakfast, so that includes like breakfast bars and pancake syrup and things like that. I have desserts that includes gums, candies, cake mixes, mints, things like that. Some kind of, not not breakfast granola bars, but like Brookside granola bar things, that kind of stuff. Dairy, um, cheeses, yogurts, the real California milk coupons, things like that. Snacks and crackers. Um, is like, you know, crackers and pistachios and chips and things like that. Beverages, that's pretty self-explanatory. Condiments, which for me is salsas, ketchups, mustards, um, things like that. Pasta, which includes rice and potatoes in my category. Meats, hot dogs, sandwich meat, that kind of stuff. Frozen, paper slash plastic. Um, bread, baby, which for me includes um, feminine products, and ice cream, my favorite, my favorite category of all, but it's kind of small right now, and then a bunch of miscellaneous junk in the back too that, you know, it's just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff, so that's my coupon box, and let's go to the Rite Aid with the coupon printing machine. See you there. Bye. And I'm taking a snack because I'll get, I'm probably, it's like 10 o'clock now. I probably won't get back till 1.30 and I know I'll be starving. So I'm taking a snack of grapes. So we'll see you when we get there. Well, they're the same ones. They haven't updated them at all. So let's print one of these. I just want to show you how weird this one looks. Well, not that one. That one looks okay. But one of them just has nothing on it. Uh, where is it? It says a dollar on one, but it's, it comes out a dollar fifty on two. So let's see if the dollar fifty on two comes out as a dollar on one. Okay, it does have stuff on it. But one time I printed them and they had nothing on it except a dollar off Curad. That was it. Nothing. 
So it's the same old stuff. I thought these expired, but let's check. They usually change the beginning of the month. What's the expiration date on that? June 3rd. Okay, so there's the coupon printing machine. Nothing new. We will see you later. Bye. Okay, I'm back from Rite Aid and I'll show you what I got. So this is that coupon that I was telling you about that I had printed before. And look, it has absolutely nothing on it. It has no expiration date. It has nothing, just a dollar off and a barcode. I don't know if they'll take it or not. I mean, it. I printed it from their coupon machine. There is a deal going on right now where when you buy $10 worth of Cured, you get $3 back. It doesn't make them free or anything, so I don't think I will do that. But you never know what deals might come up, so you never know when you might need some Cured coupons. So there's that. So yeah, that coupon machine was kind of a bust, but that's okay. At least I know now that it's not worth going over there for. So anyway, this is what I got. So I found the Mitchum. They were $4.79 gold price. I had the $3 Catalina coupons on each one and the $2 in-ad coupon. Now, it was not an actual money maker when you factor in the tax also, but they were super cheap. Um, even with paying tax, they were only like $0.15 cents each, so that was a good deal. I got six of the Lays. You buy three. They're $0.99 cents each, and you get 200 points back on three. I got the sour cream and onion and the regular flavor and they all worked absolutely fine. There's a saving star deal when you buy Lay's. I think mine is buy $20 worth and get five back. There's also a plenty household offer which is a different price. I think it's buy 15 and get five back. I don't exactly remember and I'm not even sure how plenty household offers work. I have, this is like going to be the very first Plenty Household offer I've done except for the birthday one where I did get 400 points back for buying $40 worth and that worked fine but I don't know, does it all track, do you have to buy it all at once or does it, does it track like Saving Star? If anybody knows, can you let me know? Um, I hate to ask dumb questions but I'm just not really up on the Plenty Household offers. I only ever did Saving Star, I just now started on one card doing plenty household offers so I can maybe do both I can do plenty household offers and on the other card I can just do saving star I'm not sure I don't know how it's gonna work and I hope that it works out so let me know if you have to buy them all at once on the plenty household offers or if it's um, cumulative like saving star thank you and so I did the band-aid deal so I did not get the um, they had the gauze pads but I cannot get anybody even take those things off my hands. Nobody wants gauze pads, so I got band-aids because everybody loves band-aids. So I got those. They're three fifty-nine for one, dollar seventy-nine for the other, and I think two seventy-nine gold price for that. And I had a four dollar off three coupon that was inside this bag, and then there was a coupon on this to get it free, and this one was four ninety-nine. This one rang up two forty-nine, and I had the free coupon and then the coupons inside so with a four dollar off three on that so after all my coupons and points I paid three dollars and some change in real money but I got back 500 points for this band-aid deal and 400 points back for the Lay's and I have eight dollars tracking towards the band-aid deal um, if I want to do that again however the store by me doesn't have any of these bags and the store that I went to today with the coupon machine, these were the only two bags that had the coupon to get the free the free um, bag on it and the coupons inside them. They have a ton of bags, but none of them have coupons on them and none of them have coupons inside them. And I'm not going to buy them if they don't have the coupons inside them or on them. So I don't know if I'll be able to finish off that deal. I hope I can find something. Um, we did get coupons from a recent insert, which was $2 off 3 so I guess I could do that if I had to and pay like $6 and get $5 back. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, then I went to CVS because they have a fabulous CVS over there that I love. So I went to that, 
So the first thing I got was the Charmin. Makes me happy. $3.99. I had a $0.25 cent off measly could they possibly spare it coupon. But hey, I better shut my mouth because if they go away, I'll have nothing. And $0.25 cents is better than nothing. So let me just shut up on that. But anyway, so I got that. The Suaves were two for six dollars. You have to buy them in increments of two to get that price now. I don't know who CVS thinks they are. They, I think they think that they're Walgreens because they're doing that two for pricing and you have to buy two to get the special price or whatever their amount is and I don't like it but that's the way it is. So I had a dollar fifty off coupon on each one and I had a two off eight CVS Redbox coupon so after the and then I got a four dollar extra buck so that just made those completely free um, the fructis were three for nine and again you had to buy three to get them to be three dollars each I had a three off two manufacturer coupon on the shampoos and a two dollar coupon on the styler which this is hairspray and I had a three dollar off nine uh, CVS Redbox coupon and you got three dollars and extra bucks back on that so I don't know if it was free or a money maker I'm not sure but it was a good deal and <clears throat> these count for beauty club I got a pack of two uh, corn tortillas they were two nineteen oh I hate it when the phone rings okay all right, it quit ringing. Okay, so they're two nineteen. I love these. I make tacos, enchiladas, fajitas, etc., etc., etc. And the date on them is sometime in June, but I put them in the refrigerator and they last a good long time. But we'll probably have them eaten before then. But they're wonderful. I love these tortillas. And I found the trolley candy was two dollars, and you got two dollars in extra bucks back, so that was free. So, on this transaction, this was a good trip. It was a really good trip. Super, super good. I spent a dollar and seventy six cents of real money. Unfortunately, at CVS, we have to pay tax. Our extra bucks do not pay tax, unlike Rite Aid, where you can use your points to pay tax. So, I should probably do a video of that. Rite Aid versus CVS. Forget Superman versus Batman. It should be Rite Aid versus CVS because they both have good things and they both have bad things. So, yeah. So I spent $1.76 in real money, but in two days I will get back um, another $5 in extra bucks because, see, I only needed $4.45 to get there. I got back five. I got nine dollars in extra bucks back, and I spent thirteen in extra bucks back. So it was a wonderful trip at Rite Aid. It well, it was a wonderful trip at Rite Aid, and it was a wonderful trip at CVS today. So thanks everybody so much for watching, and we will see you on the next video. Bye everybody.